So yeah, YouTube, today is fucking Tuesday, December 17th. Two days before my son's birthday and about fucking what? Eight days before Christmas. And uh, I wake up at like 4.30 in the morning. Shit, go to the bathroom. And shit, I'm wide awake. So I just, shit, put my headphones on and uh, hop in the bed, get on YouTube. And uh, one thing is shit too, I usually will walk around the house. When I'm off, I usually walk around the house and just, you know what I'm saying, make sure everything, everything, look at the windows, make sure the cars and shit there. Just that type of shit. But I, today, I was just was like, fuck it. I got up, I even paid the fucking light bill while I was in the bathroom. <laughs> That's crazy. But I just, when I lay back down, I put the headphones in so I wasn't listening or hearing anything on the outside. And, I, and my girl, she woke up and was kicking me. It was like somebody at the door. So when I was, I'm like, wait, man, it's like four fucking o'clock in the morning. Who the fuck at my door? So I grab my gun, I run downstairs, and I'm like, who is it? Who is it? And he was like, your neighbor, it's your neighbor, it's your neighbor. Um, I'm like, what the fuck? First thing I'm here was I'm like, somebody stole my fucking car. So I opened up the door, and um, because this is not the first incident of somebody fuck with my car, I got an Impala, and I don't even have a car over here no more. It's at my mom's house, and um. The first two times, well, I've had two incidents occur prior to this one with that car. It's like the first time somebody was, um, broke in and stole something personal as fuck. Um, just dumb shit, like a little running through, running, running through everything. He fucking stole the chains and shit, just dumb shit. Then, second times, um, I don't know if my girl left my car in lock or anything, but I know I for a fact I didn't, so I'm gonna blame this shit on her, she gonna deny it. But the second time she called me while I was at work, and it was like five o'clock in the morning, she went outside to go jogging, like she um, do like in the summertime. And um, she was like, uh, the door, where the light of the light from the car was on, and like the door was cracked a little bit. And she was like, when she went to it, she was like, the glove compartment was open, the middle um, console was open, and everything was just fucking scrubbing out everywhere. And so I'm just like, man, this bullshit. But today when I wake up and the dude tell me that my car gun got, you know what I'm saying, broken to, or the rims going off the motherfucker. You were like somebody fucking with your car, and so I run down, like I run downstairs immediately. You know what I'm saying? Like damn, I, I run outside immediately, and to be fucking told, like all my tires are gone. They go, they on bricks. Like yeah, you gonna be able to see it in the damn video, and like my shit is on bricks, and it's two little bitty ass bricks. So if you laying on the front of my fucking car, the motherfucker gonna fall fall over, and it's gonna be on the ground. And um, I got Liberty Mutual Insurance. And it's like I gotta pay a thousand dollar deductible bef like before or after they do anything to it, and that's kind of bullshit because again, like I said, it's two days before my son's birthday and it's a fucking couple days before Christmas. That's just just inconvenient. Like that shit right there, man. It's like, like, bro, that shit. It just feels so fucking personal because I work for every fucking thing. I'm to my work hard for anything, everything that I get, and that shit just feels like this. The like the total violation. It's like you took your time to get my shit up off of it. If you was watching or any of that type of shit, it's just like, man, that was okay. Man, that shit. It just it just feels like just total violation. Total like that shit was so personal. Like somebody just fucking rummaging through your shit, just taking your shit off and then pulling the fuck off. You'll never know about it, never. But then when I went to the office of my uh, complex this morning. I'm not the only one. It was a Camaro in the back. It was a Camaro SS in the back where, like, I guess the fucking stock wheels are. Like, you know, I know I know people, you know what I'm saying, be looking for stock wheels and shit. But it's just, like, they only, they get the, the upgraded version, not the regular stock wheels on, like, regular V6s and all this shit. They want the sports edition stock wheels and shit. And there was an SS and Polo that stay in the back. And they fucking Hellcat. But, um... Uh, the SS is the one that got the wheels took. It had the fresh ass, like the stock Camaro wheels. That's what I'm saying. Like the that's what they that's what I'm calling like the fresh cup stock wheels or whatever. And recently, I just recently seen him leave about the apartment on the back of a tow truck. I'm waiting on the tow truck now to come get mine and take it to um, a little shop around the corner so that the insurance can come out and assist the damages and stuff. Because the bricks that is on, it's like it's bending up. To like I want to say the skirt, the side skirt under the door panel and shit like that. And it's like they just set it up under my car heavy as shit. And it's just sitting up on the two little bitty ass boulders, like two little bitty ass center blocks. And it's just sitting on it, like bend, bending them up. And um, I don't even know how the fuck they gonna get it on the tow truck with no wheels. I don't know that. So if there's any other damages and shit that is not up on there now, they're gonna have to pay for it too. I don't care if they have to paint the whole damn car over. But, um, and I want the same wheels that I had up on it. But, um, yeah, this is just a fucking unfortunate event. And, um, 
I just feel like I see everybody like just it's a sign slow down and all this shit. I just be like, nah, I ain't, I'm not taking it. There's no damn sign to slow down. This shit ain't no fucking sit back under this shit. This shit must continue. <laughs> the marathon must continue. Nip voice, and uh, that shit just made apply more fucking pressure. That's all I'ma do. I promise you, that's all I'ma do. And um, so yeah, what a day, YouTube. What a fucking day. But hey, I'm still gonna make the best of it. I still gotta go Christmas shopping. <laughs> On top of finding somewhere for the fuck to go because I'm moving from over here. Like, again, I work overnight and uh, I can't get that phone call that somebody kick my fucking door in because they, like, you know what I'm saying? They think somebody not here and all this shit. I can't do that. It's going to be fucking Rambo. But, yeah. Bullshit, YouTube. <laughs> all right, y'all. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Not no clickbait shit. This is real fucking life. So YouTube, I wake up this morning to my neighbor knocking on the door, saying somebody done stole all my fucking wheels off my car. So I'm out here, and true enough, my shit is sitting on fucking bricks. I can't tell y'all how fucking mad I am right now. I cannot tell y'all how fucking mad I am right now. I'm moving out of these apartments ASAP. It's the third fucking time since I've lived in these apartments, somebody done fuck with my car. Not this one. This is my first night having this car parked over here, being off of work. I work overnight. So this is my first time with me parking this car and actually being here overnight. And as soon as I fucking park it, I'm talking about the first night off, someone steals my fucking wheels. Yep, you too. We'll be moving from these bullshit ass fucking townhouses. Third time. Not with this car, but the third fucking time, literally set my shit on fucking apartment bricks. <sighs> Five o'clock in the morning on my fucking, what's today, Tuesday? That's how thrown off I am, bro. I've been working so damn much. And I can, I just walk and I could count about seven fucking V8 charges over here with the same type of rims. And it's a fucking Hellcat over here. What the Hellcat wheels? This is right here, the same motherfuckers I knew it. Boy, if I ever catch them. If I ever see them. Nah, nah. Yep, I will be breaking this lease. Well, I'm not breaking this bitch. They gonna voluntarily let me break it. But I will be moving from over here. I'm getting a house. I stay up this shit, I promise. Here, hold this shit. Do it, cool. You got fucking two Mustang 5.0s in your city. They don't move. These motherfuckers just sit here every day, all day. The first night, the first night I parked my shit. The first night I'm off working, I can park my shit over here. Fucking in the comfort of my own home where I pay fucking rent. These motherfuckers just snatch my shit. That's some crazy. That's some fucking charge from right there. I, I, I can't sit up in this motherfucker. It's all balance. Didn't get shit. I'm pretty sure the alarm would have gone up there to pull the fucking door handle, but. Man. Man, fuck this shit. I filed an insurance policy. I mean, I filed a claim. Hopefully, they can come get my shit today. Fix all their bullshit on the side and give me some motherfucking wheels. I'm going to get locks instantly. But I'm moving the fuck away from over here. Fuck Linfield Place. Fuck, fuck all this shit they got to do with these problems. I pay fucking rent on time every month. Earlier sometimes. This is the third time. They ain't got no cameras or nothing yet. So, fuck this shit. YouTube, it's a little lighter outside so we get a better view. But this fucking brick right here 
came from the goddamn mailboxes that's in the front of my apartment. They got like a little wall around it. Me and my brother confirmed this shit by walking up there. And it's like four slides missing. All of my lug nuts was on the background. I mean on the back by the ground. That shit is horrible, bro. That shit is horrible, bro. Oh, Jesus. I'm talking about both of them. They just left my shot fire to claim. But. This bullshit, man. Five o'clock in the morning, my neighbor knock on the door. Tell me. I grabbed my damn gun because I'm like, who the fuck at my door? And he was like, bro, it's your neighbor. Somebody gonna fuck with your car. And it's crazy because as soon as I hear somebody knock on the door, I'm like, bro, I hope anybody fuck with my car. And true, true, true enough, every fucking wheel is missing. I hate this shit. I hate it here. Fuck all that. <laughs> what y'all be saying? I hate it here. <laughs> yes, I will be moving. I'm talking about before Christmas time. My son's birthday is in two fucking days. I damn near trying to be gone before the end. I don't care. 